lol so if you wanted to use your vim as your like integrated development environment or ide you can do that by adding a few plugins to your vim so for that like you need to have a plugin manager so i'm going to show you like how you can set this up like i'm going to do it really fast so you need a plugin manager so we are going to use vim plugged so vim plug is relatively easy to install all you have to do is you have to run the command with respect to whichever vim or like whichever operating system you are using so if you are on vim and if you are on any of the unixes including linux mac you can run this command inside your terminal if you are using neo vim you can use this so if you are on windows like powershell and if you are installed gvim you can use this command so after you install plug vim plug that is so you copy and paste this command and you install it it's going to download and install the vim plug plugin manager then you need few other packages like you need vim nurtry then need like the my line then you can use like uh, you complete me for code completion can use uh, you complete me for code completion we may learn for line and everything so in the tree you can like uh, get icons with this but you need to install any of those nerd fonts so the way we are going to do this is we are going to set up our vim dot vimrc like i have already done a setup for you that will be easy for you so i'm going to remove this so what i'm dot vmrc yeah i'm gonna remove my vmrc and i'm gonna do like i'm gonna open up my like i'm gonna open up github i'm gonna search my username going to bring something up i hope yeah so i'm going to like copy my init dot vim from this one so i already like uh, i already have done something like this before so i already have an init.vim prepared so you can use this init.vim so this will give you like syntax highlighting tab spacing like your nerd tree defaults and everything so i'm opening my terminal so inside my terminal i'm like uh, i'm increasing the font size now vim inside my home folder i'm going to create a dot vimrc and i'm going to paste this from the init dot vim so i will leave the links in the description if you want to use this and like you just save and exit so here i need something else I need to add one more thing so i see him go i need this copy I need like I need that. So already have set it up, so I don't need to worry that worry about that. It's like so after you like copy that and save this to your Vimrc. you save and exit 
so if you are on new vim you copy that to dot config and vim and you have some file called init.vim so you can specify that inside that so this is my standard like my neo vim configuration so so in this configuration you're having like custom color scheme and all these things so first when you open up your vim you are going to get an honor don't worry about it now we are going to do like plug install colon plug install you are going to enter this command and you are going to hit enter so this will be like uh, this will download and install all the required like extensions so i'm going to close everything i don't want that so if i want like uh, side my directory i forgot to add my icons I've added like everything except the icons for the node tree so you can add that also if you need syntax highlighting also you can add that so by default this like uh, this init.vim is having a default syntax highlight script this is having fussy finder this is having nerd command I will show you how to use some of this so have you complete me so after you install you complete me you have to like uh, you have to compile you complete me by using like uh, you have to go into a directory and you have to compile that i will show you how you can do that so this will like download the plug extensions other extensions and everything and it will like keep that over the so let it run over the for now and it's completed so i forgot to add something so i need to add that so i'm going here and i'm going to search for vim dev icons in notary so it's the and i'm going to copy the plug installation and i'm going to open up my vimrc and inside here inside the plug session i'm going to add this one too and then i'm going to initiate the plug install one more time so it's going to like install the like vim dev icons so let me close this and assuming it's completed i'm going to exit out of that let me check whether it's done or not so it's currently downloading so so after you completed like uh, let me open up a fresh page so after you completed doing that you have to compile your you complete me so you have to cd into this directory so cd vim dot vim uh, plugged you complete me if you are on like vim if you are on neo vim you have to like move to dot config like dot config uh, followed by nvim and you have to follow this so right now we are on like i'm using vim if you want you can use neo vim that's up to you now you see the over here and uh, you have to run like uh, Python three and followed by install all something install by dash dash all you have to do that so if you do that it's going to perform this operation which is going on over here so this will like uh, this will take some time it's going to compile download the necessary auto completion engines and everything for your you complete me package so i will cut this portion of the video and i will be back after yeah
it's done so i don't need to cut that so let's clean that we are going to cd now let me increase the font size bling so i'm going to open something like uh, vim and i'm going to create something like uh, one dot c maybe so this is like expanded vim for like you to view so if i hit control and then it's going to open up nerd command like nerd tree so inside nerd tree you can navigate with uh, your vim navigation keys h j k similarly you can do that so if i navigate to something like uh, dwm and hit enter you can see the contents inside dwm so you can see like if you install nerd fonts and uh, that plugin we have included you get you will get icons and everything now if like if you want to create a new child node you can like use m so if you hit m this is going to open up a small path in bottom line you can pick whichever you whichever one you want you can add a child node move current node you can like delete add something like that so if you need to add a child node you just hit a and you can like inside you can specify the path and you can specify like file name like one dot py maybe so it's going to add that and you're having a child node so you can enter inside the child node and you can like uh, go to insert do something like uh, print off hello you can do that can exit that now uh, like if you want to open up if you want to exit everything you just hit q and a now let's open up 1.c again control n to open up nerd tree if you want to navigate from this portion to this portion you hit control w two times so control and w two times so it will switch like this so if you want to open something and if you want to open that in a specific like in a tab you just hit t so it will open up the file in separate space so you hide like you type something like uh, print off and have like uh, hello something like that you can save that save and exit so now i'm going to go inside like i'm having this one dot c open over here so i'm going to insert mode by hitting i so i'm going to like type hash include here you can see the completion engine so stdio so you can select that now it's like int main then you can have like um, printf of uh, hello something like that and with the semicolon in typical c fashion and it will give you like if you're having some error it will give you syntax suggestions also now you can like if you need to run this you can run with uh, colon and bang and gcc followed by file name one dot c if i do that title error terminated wait let me reduce the font size so that it will be convenient for me to use so vim followed by one dot c you can have like uh, code completion engine if you open up something like 1.c and if you use like hash include load by you can see when we type you can pick whichever you want so studio.h you can have that so if you want you can do the auto completion stuff but i'm not going to like in main 
now like uh, we are going to like here we have something I'm going to add something over here so I'm going to type like uh, printf of hello world maybe so that is that now I'm going to try running. I'm saving the file now. ECC followed by one dot C. So it's compiled. Now I can try like man dot slash a dot out and see hello world over here. So without even exiting Vim, you can use that. So that's how you convert your Vim into a full blown ID. So that is that. I hope this one was helpful. I hope you all have a wonderful day.